All right, video two, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I just want to say something really quick before we get into the video. So last, I can't say last week because it's been like three weeks. Um, but last video, I said how I was going to be reading the Mirror Visitor series. And after further deliberation with my roommate um, and her wise words, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to read the series and then I'll do a video on the series and I'll go into each book um, at that point. So the content until then will be just random one-off books um, that I read and it'll be great. You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So now that we have all of the formalities, I guess, out of the way, um, I'm gonna tell y'all what the book is about um, and then we'll get into the video. So. The book takes place at Morton, what is it? Morton Academy. They just call it Morton in the book, so I didn't know if it was like Morton Academy, Morton Prep, whatever. Uh, so it takes place at Morton Academy, and the students there are basically a bunch of baby Einsteins in every category. They have science, English, math, uh, what, I think one of them, or a couple of them, were wanting to become doctors, so they have like anatomy and stuff uh which is cool sounds like a headache all the time but sounds cool um and so a bunch of murders take place and they're targeting the like the best of the best more or less and they have this thing called like head girl head boy and like head deputy or whatever so there's a hierarchical higher hierarchy we're gonna go with hierarchy because i'm not gonna sound that out um there's a hierarchy within the school so as you guys can imagine that kind of causes tension among the students for those who care about it um but a bunch of people start turning up dead and it's kind of like a race against the clock um to figure out you know who's killing them why are they killing them make it make sense you know um, so that's basically that <laughs> in simple terms without spoiling anything. Okay. So I started this book, um, the morning of like February 6th, I think. Let me fact check. Yeah. So today's the 7th. Um, and I started it yesterday morning and I just finished it like an hour ago. So it definitely keeps you hooked and engaged and like, you want to know more, you want to know what happened, why they did what they did, and which is good. That's always, you know, a good um, word, word, trait. Yeah, English is hard sometimes. That's always a good trait in books when you want to keep reading and you want to know what happens. Um, my only beef with the book, okay, I guess I have two beefs with the book. Um, the first one, the book is wrapped up, not neat in a bow, but, like, it's also not messy, if that makes sense. Like, second to last chapter, we, we learn the truth, we learn what happened, why they did what they did, you know, we got our answers. But the last chapter was kind of, like, their thought process, I guess? and how they felt about what they were doing and the real reason why they did what they did which was a lot <laughs> that was a lot to process but i mean yeah <laughs> my other beef with this book is the fact that i didn't like the characters I, like at all at all I didn't like Liz she was annoying she was more of like a shoot first ask questions later type person and Marcus Marcus's 
girlfriend, I don't remember her name. I think it was Taylor, but I'm not sure. Um, Marcus, Taylor, and then some other dude I don't remember. They just didn't care that, like, all of their friends were being murdered. They were like, as long as we pass our classes, and as long as we don't end up brutally murdered by some psycho, I don't really care. Just kind of like a live, laugh, love moment, you know? Uh, so I didn't really like that. <laughs> just kind of like as a principle. But what do I know? I'm just the reader, not the writer. And lit not liz what's the other girl's name cat cat i liked cat loved her she was the only sensible character out of all of them cole was weird i thought it was cole for a hot second like he shows up and all these people start dropping like flies it's obviously him i was wrong it's not cole i'm gonna i'm gonna spare you guys that sympathy um, kind of a spoiler? Maybe? I don't know if that counts as a spoiler. Um, but... Yeah, I didn't really like the majority of the characters. Oh, and there's Emily! Sorry, I forgot about Emily. Oh my god, literally all of the people who were murdered. I forgot about them. But I didn't like them either. They kind of deserved it if I'm being honest with you guys. But long story short, I hated literally like all of the characters except for Kat. I love Kat. Broke my heart, but it's fine, right? Right? <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, I had to like violently sneeze and blow my nose. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, the characters. Yeah, so I think the fact that I read this book in quite literally 24 hours while still not liking the majority of the characters says something about how good the book is. Um, at least it does to me. I don't, I don't know. Um, but... No, it was very good, and I was very, very pleased with it. I didn't like the ending, because uh, it was rushed, but it was also just kind of like a whole plot twist. I wasn't expecting it, and it was it was wild, to say the least. Uh, I'm going to check out her other books, and, you know, if they're remotely similar to Women's Kill Die, I might invest simply because I I liked it. I liked the writing style of it. But my to be read is very long. <laughs> I have so many books. I mean, that's really all I have for today's video. This was a short one. I know, I'm sorry. This book just didn't, it was good, but it doesn't give you a lot to work with in terms of like talking about it because it's all so interconnected and you can't talk about it without spoiling something. So I figured it's best to just bite my tongue and suffer than to spoil the whole book for you guys. Um, if you don't care about spoilers, let me know in the comments um, so I know for, you know, future videos which would probably make it easier. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But, um, again, totally up to you guys. I'm fine with whatever. Alright, guys. So that is all I have for today's video. If you liked it, um, like, comment, subscribe. Or don't. I can't really tell you what to do. It's your life. Um, if you want to check out this book, I will try to put it in the link or in the description below um it didn't work last time so i don't know how successful we'll be this time but you know we'll try it we'll figure it out um yeah i will see you in the next one bye